The following six steps will help you complete a Lewis dot structure problem. Follow these six steps each time you complete a Lewis dot structure. Don't deviate from them at all. These six steps will work for every Lewis dot structure problem that we do. So commit yourself ahead of time to learning these six steps. Number one, calculate the total number of valence electrons. You'll do this using your periodic table. Next, identify the central atom and arrange terminal atoms. Remember, the central atom is in the middle, terminal atoms are around the outside. Here's some tips. Usually, the central atom is written first. For example, in this problem, nitrogen would be the central atom. Oftentimes, central atoms are atoms with the lowest electronegativity. In this case, it's phosphorus. Notice phosphorus is also written first. Typical central atoms are carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur, especially carbon. Carbon is always a central atom. Third, use a pair of electrons to form a bond between each atom. Step four, satisfy octet rule by distributing remaining lone pairs to terminal atoms first, then to the central atom. Step five, if central atom's octet is incomplete, move a lone pair to create multiple bonds. And the last step, step six, check your work. Make sure that each atom has a complete octet. Octet means eight. There are a couple of exceptions. Hydrogen is the duet rule. It only wants two. Beryllium only wants four. And boron only wants six. All of the rest typically want eight. Pretty soon, you'll become proficient working Lewis dot problems. Until then, follow these six steps exactly in fact, have this sheet out and next to you as you work through some problems.